turbulent presidential debate, President Joe Biden has admitted that his performance was less than stellar, attributing his lacklustre showing to severe jet lag after extensive travel in June. Speaking at a campaign event in McLean, Virginia on Tuesday evening, Biden confessed that he didn't have the best night. He explained that it was due to traveling through hundreds of time zones before the debate, leading him to nearly fall asleep on stage. He added that it was no excuse but an explanation. A Reuters Ipsos poll also has indicated that a significant fraction of Democrats share doubts about Biden's campaign, with one in three suggesting he should withdraw following the debate. However, the poll also showed that neither Biden, 81, nor Trump, 78, has lost ground, both holding the support of 40% of registered voters. Reuters also reported that 25 Democratic Party members of the House of Representatives are preparing to call for Biden to step aside if he seems shaky in coming days. Joe Biden is facing growing pressure from within his party to prove he is physically and mentally fit for office, with a Democratic lawmaker publicly calling on him to end his re-election bid for the first time. Lloyd Doggett, a House representative from Texas, said, I represent the heart of a congressional district once represented by Lyndon Johnson. Under very different circumstances, he made the painful decision to withdraw, adding that President Biden should do the same. Notably, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi acknowledged on MSNBC that Biden's debate performance raised valid concerns, but she refrained from calling for his withdrawal. Uh, we have a great president with a great record. It's up to him as we go forward. Uh, but as we go forward, it isn't unusual for people to question strategy, tactics, and the rest in a campaign. And I think it's a legitimate question to say, is this an episode or is this a, a condition? And so when people ask that question, it's completely legitimate of both candidates. As speculation mounts, the White House has also come to defend Joe Biden. White House said that on the debate night, Biden had a cold, hoarse voice, stating it as reason for the debate performance. And first of all, I want to say we understand the concerns. We get it. The president uh, did not have a great night. As you all know, and many of you reached out during the, the, uh, the debate, uh, the president had a cold. He had a hoarse voice. You all heard it. That's why you reached out. But I will say this, and the president said this uh, over the past couple of days, certainly right after the debate. He knows how to do the job. And he knows how to do the job, not because he says it, because his record proves it. Press Secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre emphasized that Biden has no intention of exiting the race, attributing his debate struggles to a bad night exacerbated by a cold. We want to turn the page on this. Uh, and we want to turn the page for the American people as well, because we know that they need to see him out there. He's going to continue to be out there. He has been. And we understand how important that is. And so we're going to turn the page. We're going to get out, uh, get out there uh, across the country. Americans are going to see him for themselves. This developing situation highlights the intensifying pressure on Biden as the 2024 election looms, with party unity and confidence in his leadership hanging in the balance.